Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to work the diagonal cables afghan square and uh, this is a single afghan square that you can make on its own or include in a larger blanket such as this one is. This is week four option B of the one make it your way crochet along. If this is your first time hearing about the make it your way crochet along there's a link down in the description of this video that will tell you a little more about it if you're joining me for the crochet along welcome again this is week four option B so for our square today you're going to need approximately let me just check 141 yards per square and you're going to make 41 uh, sorry four of these squares so 141 yards of a worsted weight yarn I'm using a worsted weight acrylic called Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand and uh, again 141 yards you're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook or a J10 hook the written instructions can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and they are free for you to follow along there so you can learn how to make this square so thank you once again for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe. You can check out some of the other crochet afghan squares for this crochet along. And there is still one more or two more weeks to come, I should say. So be sure to hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Our square today is worked in a row. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, and our foundation chain today is going to be a total of 34 chains. If you need to change the size of your square, you will need a multiple of 3 plus 1 stitches. And there's 34. My finished square is going to measure approximately 10 and a half to 11 inches. So once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then single crochet in each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, you're going to have a total of 33 single crochet stitches. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. For row two, we're going to work another row of single crochet stitches. So single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to start working some of our diagonal cable stitches. For row three, we'll begin by working a single crochet in each of the first three stitches. This first row of cable stitches is really the most tricky because it involves a little bit of counting as we go. Next, you're going to work one front post double crochet stitch around the posts of each of the next three stitches, but two rows below. So we're now working for our cable stitches around the posts of the stitches two rows below. So you need to do a little bit of counting. I have my three stitches worked down here under my first three single crochet. So my first post stitch is going to be this fourth single crochet in. I'm going to yarn over, bring my hook in front of my work, insert my hook from the front 
through to the back out through the front again of that next single crochet stitch two rows below yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two more I'm going to repeat that twice more once around the post of each of the next two stitches two rows below front post double crochet and another front post double crochet you're then going to up top work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches so you're when you work these single crochet stitches you're skipping the stitches that are in behind your double crochets so there's one two and three you're then going to work three more front post double crochet stitches one around the post of each of the next three stitches two rows below so working in row one yarn over bring your hook in front insert your hook around the post of that next stitch two rows below yarn over drop a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two do that a total of three times then once again up top skipping the three stitches in behind the double crochet you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches you're going to repeat that all the way across at the end of row three you'll have finished off with three single crochet stitches you're going to chain one turn your work now for every even row so rows four six eight and so forth you're going to work a row of single crochet stitches so single crochet in that first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across at the end of row four chain one and turn your work for row five we're going to begin by working a single crochet in each of the first two stitches next as we want our cable stitches to go on the diagonal we're going to start working our front post stitches now over this next stitch so you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch two rows below this should be the single crochet right before that first front post stitch two rows below you're then going to work a front post double crochet stitch around the post of each of the next two front post stitches up top you're going to work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches you're now going to repeat front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch two rows below then work one front post double crochet around each of the next two front post stitches two rows below up top single crochet in each of the next three stitches repeat that all the way across once you come all the way across at the end of row five working your repeats you'll have worked three single crochet stitches you'll have one remaining you're going to work one single crochet into that final stitch chain one and turn your work you're now going to for row six work a single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across at the end of row six you're going to chain one and turn your work for row seven we're going to single crochet in our first stitch 
Then work a front post double crochet stitch around each of the next three stitches two rows below. Next, work a single crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches, skipping those three stitches that are in behind your front post stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across, front post double crochet around each of the next three stitches, two rows below, followed by three single crochet stitches, and you'll continue that until you have two stitches remaining. When you come all the way across at the end of row 7 and have 2 stitches remaining, you're going to work 1 front post double crochet stitch around the post of the next stitch 2 rows below, followed by 1 single crochet into your final stitch. You're then going to chain 1, turn your work, and for row 8 work 1 single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row 8, chain 1 and turn your work. For row 9, you're going to single crochet into the first stitch, then single, uh, double front post double crochet around the post of each of the next 2 stitches. Skipping the two stitches in behind, those two double crochet stitches, you're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Next, front post double crochet around the post of each of the next three stitches, two rows below. and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches remaining. When you come across at the end of row 9 and have 3 stitches remaining, you're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of each of the next 2 stitches, 2 rows below. You'll see that you're starting to work another cable pattern here up in the next corner. And then single crochet into your final stitch. For row 10, chain 1, Turn your work, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row 10, chain 1 and turn your work. For row 11, we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch to each of the next three stitches two rows below. and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way across front post double crochet around the post of each of the next three stitches two rows below, followed by a single crochet into each of the next three stitches, and you're going to continue until you have four stitches remaining.
When you come all the way across at the end of row 11 and have four stitches remaining, you're going to work a front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next three stitches, two rows below. And then finish off your row with a single crochet into that final stitch. Chain one, turn your work, and for row 12, work a single crochet into the first stitch and single crochet all the way across. At the end of row 12, chain one, and turn your work. For row 13, you're going to single crochet in each of the first four stitches. Next, work a front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next three stitches, two rows below. and single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that front post double crochet around each of the next three stitches, two rows below, followed by one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, all the way across until you have five stitches remaining. Once you come across row 13 and have five stitches remaining, you're going to finish off by working a front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next three stitches, two rows below. And then a single crochet in each of the final two stitches. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. For row 14, you're going to single crochet across. That brings you to the end of the repeated portion in the pattern. So for the rest of your square until row 38, you're going to repeat rows 3 through to 14. Once you have reached row 38, you should have a piece that is fairly square. You're then going to meet me back here and uh, we will work a short edging. If your piece isn't square then I recommend working a few more rows until it is or taking out a few rows whatever necessary in order to get that square. Once you've worked through to the end of row 38 this is what your piece should look like and you're going to now add a simple single crochet edging to, uh, to the square. You're going to start by joining your yarn with a slip stitch if it's not joined already. And you're going to work evenly all the way across 34 single crochet stitches. Now as across the top and bottom you have only 33 stitches in this square, it does mean that you're going to have to add an extra stitch at some point along the top and the bottom. So you're simply going to single crochet and then at some point it can be anywhere, just add an extra stitch into your square. You want to have a total of 34. You can change the number of stitches along the edge of your square. Just uh, make sure you make note of it, especially if you're making the Make It Your Way crochet along. You will want to have all of the squares to have the same number of stitches around the outside edge. So go ahead, work 34 single crochet stitches across the top of your square. When you come across the top and have 34 single crochet, you're going to work one single crochet into your corner and then along the rough edge of your square once again evenly work 34 single crochet stitches all the way across. When you come to your next corner stitch work one single crochet into the next corner then 34 stitches across your bottom 
one more in the corner and then 34 single crochet stitches up along the opposite side. You'll finish off your square with one more single crochet into your final corner and then you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Fasten off, weave in your ends and block your square if desired. That's all there is to working the diagonal cable afghan square. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe if you happen to make this square. Feel free to share it with me on social media. You can tag Rich Textures Crochet and I'll come over and admire it. So until I see you again, happy crocheting. Bye.